All right. Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday. We'll wait for a few more people to get in here uh, before we jump into all these updates on the winter weather and the cold, cold air heading our way. A uh, lot to talk about for sure. It's chilly out there this morning, but it is only uh, going to get colder. Let me make sure we can uh, make sure my audio is good. Can y'all hear me okay? I can't hear my audio. Can y'all hear me okay? <laughs> I don't have any of my audio coming through right now. Okay, good deal. Y'all said y'all can hear me. I don't know why I can't hear myself, but oh well. All right, so let's jump right into it. It is cold this morning. Uh, we've got temperatures ranging from near freezing on parts of the North Shore. We're sitting at 34 in Hammond. Uh, we're sitting at 31 in Macomb. We were at 32 earlier in Hammond. Now we're in the upper 30s in New Orleans. And uh, we'll warm up a little bit today, but I hate to even use the word warm because we're going to stay in the 30s and 40s throughout most of today. So the warm weather is gone through at least Wednesday. That's when we'll warm back up just a little bit. Uh, so if you're just joining, we're going to be talking about the winter weather. I do want to talk about this morning really quick. And for any of y'all watching um, from Baton Rouge up towards Kentwood, Aiton, Amit, and going up towards Macomb, our radar has been showing that uh, we've got a little bit of freezing drizzle for some spots. I know we had some reports of maybe sleet in Baton Rouge earlier. Let me know what you're seeing up here in this pink. Our radar thinks it's freezing rain and freezing drizzle, but it's an algorithm. It's a computer trying to figure out what's going on with it. So let me know if you're up in here, kind of in northern Tangy, uh, St. Helena Parish, what this is, and moving into Kentwood or north of Amy. Let me know if this is freezing rain or sleet or what you're getting. Uh, would love to know because it's really important because it's <laughs> the freezing line somewhere in here. So it's kind of hard to tell exactly what we're getting. And I'll be watching your comments. But if you live up here, let me know what you're seeing. Uh, and seeing down towards Lafayette, New Iberia could be getting some sleet and freezing rain this morning. All right, let's jump into the forecast. Uh, yes, you can see there we do have some light rain, especially on the North Shore this morning. We're going to continue to see that on and off through today. But the big story you're waking up, we do have winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings that have been issued for much of the area. Uh, or I should say for much of the North Shore and River Parishes and Bayou Parishes. You can see uh, in the pink there, that's going to be a winter storm uh, warning. And that is from midnight tonight until 6 p.m. tomorrow. So this is where we're expecting the worst of the weather in the pink. That includes Tangipahoa, Washington, and St. James Parish, all of the Baton Rouge area, Macomb, even over towards Lafayette and the rest of Louisiana, believe it or not. So that's where we're going to see the most significant impacts from this winter storm starts tonight, late tonight, and through tomorrow morning into the afternoon. Now, the winter weather advisory, Elizabeth, thank you so much. She said it's sleeting and independence. That is Great information. Okay, so the winter weather advisory is uh, and includes St. Tammany, Pearl River, uh, St. Charles, St. John, Upper Lafouche, Upper Terrebonne. So Homa, Thibodeau, uh, Laplace, Slidell, Covington, Mandeville, all of St. Tammany and Pearl River are included in a winter weather advisory. This is because you could start to see some patchy ice develop, not as significant as up here, but still some road problems by 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. tomorrow. So morning commute could be impacted even in the blue. Morning commute will likely be impacted for areas in the pink. So keep that in mind. Travel tomorrow morning is going to be rough for some locations. That's kind of the bottom line of the whole uh, story we're, we're dealing with right now. So what we're going to be watching tonight and through tomorrow is that freezing line and the rain moving on in. So through today, some patchy freezing drizzle and sleet on the North Shore. Uh, be careful. Temperatures should be above freezing through the afternoon on the North Shore, even with it sleeting. Uh, the roads should be okay. 
but be careful. By tonight, though, that should chart should start to change, and then notice by four or five o'clock, we start to see more of a widespread rain and perhaps freezing rain and sleet moving into the area. That's what the pink's indicating. So this is by tomorrow morning. Notice Baton Rouge to Lafayette along I-12, I-10, and going up on the North Shore from Hammond to Macomb. This could be rough tomorrow morning. So if you have to go up to Baton Rouge tomorrow morning, I would plan otherwise. I just don't think it's going to be a good idea because once you start getting closer and closer up here, you're going to start to run into problems with the roads. Now, from Hammond to the north, I think that's where we're going to start to see some problems tomorrow morning as well. I-55 in between Jackson and Hammond could be rough tomorrow morning into tomorrow early late morning. Um, so keep that in mind if you've got to be on the roadways. But still, in New Orleans, by 9 o'clock or by 5, 6, 7 a.m., we're still above freezing here. We're still above freezing in Homa and Thibodeau, but that freezing line is somewhere right in here. Now, as we go into the later morning hours around, I say late morning, it's still in the morning, but 7, 8, 9 o'clock, notice we start to see that freezing line get closer and closer uh, to, to Laplace, the river parishes, towards Homa and down towards uh, the Bayou Parishes. So this is when we could start to see maybe a transition to freezing rain in the Bayou Parishes by 7, 8, 9 o'clock. This would impact commute possibly as well. Still in the upper 30s and upper uh, upper 30s and low 40s in New Orleans, so not quite freezing dealing with uh, here. Same for slide out. Now, the big question right now, late morning into early afternoon, models do show a surge of cold air moving in and us dropping to below freezing or near freezing, even in the New Orleans metro. This is what I think. If we do see do see any uh, ice or anything like that, it would be by late morning into the afternoon for parts of the New Orleans metro. So this is when we're, we're going to have to watch it pretty closely. But you can see even in slide L, temperatures in the low 30s, this could start to cause problems with maybe regards to uh, some freezing rain on bridges and overpasses and also perhaps some sleep falling during this as well. Now as we go into uh, the later afternoon, it still has us hovering just above freezing in New Orleans. So that's why New Orleans isn't necessarily um, included in the winter weather advisory right now is because it's still a little unclear if we actually get to that freezing temperature in New Orleans um, because of the lake. I mean, the lake keeps us always a little bit warmer. But elsewhere, yes, you could be dealing with some freezing rain and sleet through tomorrow afternoon. And then things start to dry out by late afternoon uh, with lingering ice anywhere, of course. So that's what we'll be dealing with on the time frame. It's going to be mainly overnight into tomorrow morning and early in the day. And then later in the day, it looks like we'll start to dry out. But it is going to be so, so, so cold across the area. So winter storm impacts, here's what we're looking at. And I still hope y'all can hear me. My audio says it's not showing, but y'all say it's good. Our biggest impacts are going to be in the purple here. That's going to be from, let's say, draw a line in your mind from Morgan City, uh, just north of Thibodeau, up along the river, Hammond, up towards Poplarville. Anywhere in here, this is where we could see significant ice accumulation. We're talking uh, travel could be impossible. Power outages could be likely in this purple area. Yes, you need a plan for power outages. Baton Rouge, Lafayette, Hammond, Macomb, all these spots. Now, where it's a little bit more unclear if we have those major problems, but we're still likely going to have travel problems, is in this kind of purple or pink color, fuchsia. That includes Slidell, St. Tammany, Poplar uh, from Picayune down towards Thibodeau and Homa. I still think you're going to have some slick roads at times tomorrow morning. So that is something you need to uh, keep in mind as you go out the door tomorrow, if you do have to go out the door. New Orleans, we're right on the dividing line. If we see ice, it will likely start on the west side of the metro. It will be harder to get on the east side of the metro because of the lake, the way it'll be oriented in the cold air coming on down. It's possible, though, we do see some ice in New Orleans. We need to watch it. And notice need to watch also includes South Mississippi. So right there along the coast from Gulfport to Biloxi, you could still see some freezing rain. Uh, I think it would mainly be on bridges and overpasses, but you know how that goes. It certainly impacts your commute, uh, and it is a possibility. Now, how much ice are we talking? Uh, we don't get a lot of ice down here. It's pretty rare for us to be talking about ice events, but they do happen. They've happened before. You remember them when they happen. You're talking about a significant ice storm up here from Baton Rouge to Lafayette and Hammond and to the north up towards Jackson. Where you see these pinks, this is potentially up to a quarter or half an inch of ice or even greater half an inch of ice. Um, when you start to get above a quarter of an inch of ice, um, imagine how long or imagine how heavy that is on power lines. 
it's gonna it's gonna you know yank the power lines down that's why you get power outages you have broken tree limbs things like that so uh, a little bit concerning to see these numbers being populated for Baton Rouge, Hammond to the north, northern Tangy, northern Washington, and in southwest Mississippi. This would be problematic, not only for travel, but for power. So that's why we're a bit concerned with uh, the ice potential. But if you, if, let me go back, because if you notice, here on the south shore, not necessarily showing too much ice, you know, showing maybe a tenth of an inch. That's still going to cause slick roadways. That's still going to cause dangerous travel at times, even though it doesn't look like much. Even a glazing of ice is... Uh, going to cause some problems. Now in New Orleans, notice it doesn't show anything and that's because, well, we're right on the dividing line of freezing. If that cold air gets just far enough down here, we could see some ice starting to develop, especially I think on the west side of the metro and away from the lake, the, right there on the lakefront. So it is something we need to watch. It's not a guarantee at this point for New Orleans. I think it's almost a guarantee for the North Shore right now, especially for Tangipahoa Parish towards Baton Rouge. But travel in this area tomorrow, I wouldn't bet on it at all tomorrow morning. I wouldn't even take a gamble on it. So uh, if you can cancel travel plans tomorrow morning north of the lake, and especially if you're heading west, don't do it. So, sorry, the phone was ringing. Okay, so how much ice are we talking here? Now, if we get to up to a quarter of an inch, inch of ice for locations, um, we're talking, uh, this is very much possible in our bayou parishes, river parishes. Avoid unnecessary travel. There's going to be light icing on trees. Scattered power outages are possible, but more so it's going to cause travel problems. Now, here's the problem I think we're going to start to get into once you get to uh, north of I-12 and going up to Baton Rouge in Mississippi, uh, southwestern Mississippi. You're talking about icy roads, broken tree limbs, numerous power outages that could last for days. Um, ice storms are notorious for causing some of the worst power outages, even beyond hurricane damage. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going out, but something to watch. Now, there's going to be a few spots that likely pick up more than half an inch of ice, and that is a significant ice storm, and you're talking about roads are dangerous or impassable, widespread tree damage, and long-term outages are possible. Now, I think if this happens, it's going to be on our northern Florida parishes and into Mississippi. I think that's our best shot of seeing uh, a significant ice storm, but it is, you know, the trends are something we need to watch. Now here, let's talk about something else that is going to be an issue for everyone, no matter where you live. It's going to be the cold temperatures. Mid-20s on the South Shore. This is a hard freeze in New Orleans. Upper teens from Thibodeau to Homa, up along the river. Low to mid-teens towards Baton Rouge. 16 in Hammond. 13 in Macomb. These are actual temperatures. Our wind chills Tuesday morning are going to be in the low single digits on the North Shore. Feeling like maybe even getting close to the negatives as you get into Macomb. And then towards New Orleans, our wind chills are going to be in the mid-teens. So it's going to be dangerously cold. We do have wind chill uh, watches, which means it's going to be dangerous to be out there for any extended period of time. I would not plan to really be out and about uh, Tuesday morning. This is after the snow and every, or the ice, everything clears out. So yes, the freezing precipitation is going to be an issue through Monday morning into the afternoon. If any of it kind of stays frozen and lingers into Tuesday morning, that will be an issue. Uh, but it'll stop falling from the sky by late Monday afternoon. Tuesday morning is when this is going to be the big story, perhaps pipe bursting a uh, freeze. So on both sides of the lake, we're saying protect your pipes. Make sure you're wrapping those exposed outside pipes. Make sure you are dripping faucets Monday night. Just a little drip. It helps. Uh, but our temperatures here on the south shore are ranging from 23 to 28 and 13 to 18 on the north shore and to the west of the lake. We have not been that cold in uh, quite some time. Excuse me, so keep that in mind. Now, once we get past uh, Tuesday, Mardi Gras day, we get some sunshine. Highs in the upper 30s. Wednesday, we'll be back in the 60s, but more rain moves in. Another cold front blows in. Perhaps another winter storm, but that one will probably stay to our north, I think, by late Thursday. And then by Friday, we got some sunshine. So that's how it's looking right now. Um, thanks, everyone, for uh, tuning in and uh, joining us. We're going to have much more updates. But I think a lot of people on the North Shore and going into southwest Mississippi are going to be caught off guard by this winter storm. Uh, we're all thinking about Mardi Gras right now, or at least what you can do with Mardi Gras. And this could really cause some big impacts with power outages and travel north of the lake and even getting close to the bayou parishes and river parishes by tomorrow morning. So Monday morning, do not head out the door without checking the weather. Not your app. Don't just look at your app. Turn on the TV. We'll be on Channel 4. Uh, you've got to check because roads could be a mess tomorrow morning as you get outside north of the lake and as you get closer to Baton Rouge. So something to certainly watch. We want everyone to be safe. 
it just takes a little bit of this freezing rain and ice um, to cause massive problems on the roadways and of course we don't want any tragedies going on and we also need to be uh, worrying about the cold weather Tuesday morning we don't even want any tragedies with space heaters fires uh, we don't want any you know elderly people uh, check in on them make sure your heating uh, systems working correct and all those types of things so certainly something we don't deal with very often but it does look like uh, winter is coming and it will certainly be here tonight and through tomorrow so everyone just be safe safe on the roads don't get on the roads tomorrow morning and afternoon if you don't have to and continue to check back for updates i hope everyone has a wonderful sunday uh, as well